फेड रेट कर्स की ही बात करते हैं और फेड ने रेट कर्स कर दिए अब तक जैसे कि हम बात कर रहे थे कि 75 बेसिस पॉइंट्स का अब तक कट हम देख चुके हैं तो ऐसे में क्या इस पर आरबीआई रिएक्ट करने वाला है और अगर करेगा तो क्यों और नहीं करेगा तो फिर क्यों देखिए मेरे ख्याल में जो आर आरबीआई ने एक बड़ा पॉलिसी एरर कर चुके हैं क्योंकि अगर आप देखें कोर इन्फ्लेशन हैज बीन बिलो फोर परसेंट सिंस डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इवन हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन वॉज बिलो फोर परसेंट फॉर टू मंथ्स इट वॉज नोन दैट इट वुड बी बिलो टू परसेंट फॉर फॉर दोज टू मंथ्स एट दैट टाइम द आर बी आई शुड हैव कट रेट बोथ इन ऑगस्ट एंड इन ऑक्टोबर बट इट डिड नॉट that is the policy error and that is an important reason why earnings growth looks weak now if you look at uh, for instance uh, you know i i take a very close look at corporate tax revenue growth in india corporate tax revenue growth has slowed sharply it is in the first half of the of uh, fy25 corporate tax revenue is up only 2.3% year on year uh, and personal income tax is growing at at, at over 30% year on year but corporate tax revenue is up only 2.3% that suggests that we already have a significant deceleration in corporate earnings uh and why because unnecessarily we have an extremely high interest rate and a high real interest rate okay. so if you have core inflation below 4% since december the the rbi has no influence on food inflation what can the rbi do with food inflation food inflation is determined by non monetary factors and that it will come and go now this month we are going to get a, the strongest kharif harvest in at least 4 or 5 years perhaps the strongest in several decades because this year rain uh, during the monsoons was 8% above normal and it was the one of the best monsoons in about a decade therefore we are likely to see food inflation coming down and if the rbi has any sense if the if the mpc has any sense they should cut rates i mean they should cut rates 50 basis points not just 25 but they are extremely cautious over i mean i think they are you know this uh, rbi uh, particularly over the last 6 uh, months has been making a terrible policy error well they have now moved uh, to a neutral stance if they have a neutral stance then at a minimum they should cut rates so mm. uh i think they should cut rates whether they will or not is still questionable because uh we will not really have the november inflation number in time for the next uh, policy meeting so if they are looking to see the white of the eyes of headline inflation below 4% they will not have it and therefore uh they may not cut but it would be foolish not to cut and the key reason why the markets are weakening in india one key reason is that the economy is decelerating unnecessarily because of high interest rates and that deceleration is effect is, is reflected also in corporate earnings now the other point of course the other factor uh, which the rbi has no influence over is that uh, china after 5 years of being totally down in the dumps you know you see basically if you look at global emerging market indices china's weight 5 years ago was nearly double of india's now china and india have almost the same weight in the in the benchmark emerging market indices because india has done so much better than china but now that china is providing a substantial stimulus and and continue I, you see china is going to continue providing in stimulus because none of the stimulus is going to work the economy is in too much trouble there's too much Uh, real estate over capacity there's too much industrial over capacity so no amount of stimulus is going to help china in any material way but it will help sentiment and therefore we have that as as well as a as a as a challenge for india so my view is that india unless the rbi comes to its senses i would agree with the other uh, with the other speaker that we're going to see further uh, at least modest weakness in the in the market but if the rbi comes to its senses the reality is that the indian economy is still the fastest growing in the world and mm. that fastest growing economy is will naturally translate to continued strength in corporate earnings as well uh, recovering the corporate earnings once uh, interest rates begin to uh, begin to ease off uh, and the other factor is that from january next year 
you'll see inflation coming down to below 3%. Headline inflation from around Jan from the first quarter of next calendar year will be closer to 3% than 4%. And therefore, there'll be ample scope to cut. But RBI has wasted uh, nearly half a year by not cutting rates. 